man scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Raw, ice cream. Raw, we scream, we all scream for ice cream. Tuesdays, Mondays, we all scream for Sunday, sis. Spoon bar. <laughs> yes, baby. I love you too. And I want to make sure that my makeup doesn't look lighter than what I am. I'm a melanin girl, so I want to make sure that it match my skin tone. I'm going to work with you. Okay, you tell me and I definitely I definitely will let you know. Thank you. I don't want to look ashy. I want to look like a brown skin girl on camera. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure that that's emphasized. Yes. I felt like I had a baby. No, I did the mother thing. I did the white one. Oh, yeah, you But I think it's quite clear now. Good afternoon, Coco Cuties. I think they say yes too. Right now, we are on our way to. Bay, can you cut your phone down a little bit? Right now, we are on our way to Bestie's recital. Tomorrow, has her Malia's best friend has her ballet recital. Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. She has her recital right now. It's about a 20 minute drive from my house, so we're just on the highway. We are running a little close on time, but we're gonna get there. The recital apparently, so y'all know Malia recital was split up, so it was like 30 minute increments. Apparently this recital is like two and a half hours long. Uh, Mrs. Bell told us to come at the intermission, so the intermission is at 2.45. So I'm trying to hurry up because hopefully they got stuff for sale outside because I want to get her something like a teddy bear or some flowers or a lollipop or something like if y'all notice with Malia's school they had concession and so I want to try but hers is at the big theater hers is at a big Malia's was at a high school probably because it was smaller clusters but that's where we're headed to your girl look cute back with these bobs Honey, I have found my hairstyle for when I'm not wearing braids, baby. I'm about to buy this bob and all the colors. This is the perfect length, the perfect color. Like, y'all like my new glasses? Y'all saw me buy these yesterday. So tonight we are celebrating my sister virtually. I told you all her book uh, landed in the top 20 books for new mothers for 2024. So we are celebrating that virtually with her. We're going to pop champagne and have a little virtual party. And I need to clean up. Y'all know that Sunday is cleanup day. I'm sorry, but it is insane to me that when the school year is going on to do anything on a Sunday or during the week. Y'all said the same thing about the birthday party we went to. Like, Saturdays are for this. Like, it's insane to me. But... Anyway, we going because this is this my baby. So, of course, we're going to go and support my baby. And we are so proud of her. And we will see y'all at the theater. watching tomorrow as y'all saw in the clips and she did so good we are so proud of you tomorrow so we gave about her some candy because kids love freaking candy now we on our way to get her well i thought we was getting candy but she wants ice cream now because i want ice cream so we're here at casey's gas station and we're going to get ice cream we're gonna potty get ice cream and then we're going to go 
then we're gonna go to the car wash because I just got off the road and my car looks disgusting. I mean, my, it's it, got our flies car looks and I need the window clean, all of that, and I want to do it to now. Okay, it, so it, while we are, then we're gonna go back to the house. I gotta finish cleaning up. I'm not meal prepping this week because we still got so much after, food. After I finish your jeans all I can. Yeah, you gotta clean your room. That's right. That's right. And then sure. when you finish cleaning your room, you can call tomorrow. Okay. 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 So let's go and get ice cream. Yay! Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ra, ice cream. Ra, ra, ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Tuesdays, Mondays, we all scream for Sunday, sis. Spoon bar. <laughs> we just left the gas station. And unfortunately, they didn't have an ice cream machine. But I'm not even mad because we're going to get ice cream by our house. Because one thing I'm realizing post-COVID is y'all know if still don't be washing y'all hands. You ever been to a gas station and you just felt like, ooh, I'm on the wrong side of town, baby. It's giving Hickville side of town, okay? First of all, we get in the bathroom. The plunger and the toilet brush is just thrown in one of the bathrooms just out red flag number one then we go to get and i don't care if y'all sound like sound, sound like a karen or whatever the version of a black karen i don't care i pay good money to live where i live okay but i wasn't on my side of town also we finish up we come out and I go for the soap. Ain't no soap. It ain't no soap to the point that I know that it's been a bunch of that the last few people that came in the bathroom didn't wash their hands properly. I and so I'm like, okay, let's go. We're gonna use the hand sanitizer at the register because I always know that they keep sanitizer at the register post COVID, right? So I tell the lady who finna go wash her and her son's hands, I'm like, there's no soap. She looked at me like I was speaking a foreign language. And as I'm walking out, I see her rinsing them. Y'all nasty. So what I do, I grab a piece of paper towel because I didn't even want to touch the door nor my hands was dirty. I grab the paper towel, open the door, we go to the register, and I get us some hand sanitizer. I ain't even mad they ain't got no ice cream because I don't even want nothing up out of there. Because y'all ain't washing y'all hands. And I watch your ABC mouse. I know you watch your ABC mouse, but good. Do your ABC mouse. I told y'all my two favorite apps, Speech Bloods, ABC Mouse. Get them. Go on and pay that fee, sis. You get your hair done, you buy wigs, you get your nails done, you buy press ons. Where we going? Let's go get some ice cream, chicken nugget. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This I got an ice cream machine right there. See, I told you they got ice cream here. Where? Over here. Right here. Yep. You want a bowl? Here, hold it. Vanilla. Yeah, you want vanilla? Yeah. Look, they have a twist and you can get vanilla and chocolate or you just want vanilla. Just vanilla. Yeah. Just vanilla? Yeah, twist. Okay. I want it to be twisty. Okay. Yes, baby. I love you too. Okay, so I guess that was my diet where tell well that was that was my healthy eating because we don't use the word diet over here that was my healthy eating way of telling me that i can't have no ice cream because this eyes didn't have no ice cream either so my baby got a donut and i just got some ice for my iced coffee and, and so, uh, so the, the gas station was out of vanilla yeah they was out of vanilla out of chocolate and vanilla swirl and out of chocolate Good morning, Coco Cuties. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I can barely say good morning because it is like 11. 
Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted by the spirit of Michael Jackson. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Coco Cuties. Happy Monday and welcome back to another week in the life of a boss. Y'all, Lily got me thinking about daily vlogging again. Y'all, that shit took a lot out of me. I don't know if I'm going to do it again. I might wait till Vlogtober. I'm definitely going to do Vlogtober and Vlogmas, but baby, I don't know. She got me thinking about it, though. Like, maybe if I just vlog the seven days leading up to my birthday or something. I'm headed to the gym, and then after I leave the gym, I want to go to Marshall's. It's right next door to see if they got any of the S. Day Lauder. Uh, or the Lord Mercier, the almond, the almond, what you call it, perfume that I've been looking for. Um, then I, I need to run to Walmart because I need some eye drops, real bad. I ran out while I was in Chicago, so I need some new, some eye drops because my contacts is dry. Um, I also need some more ashwagandha. I also need. Uh, it was something else on my list that I needed. I can't remember what it is, but I got a reminder set. And then I want to go to TJ Maxx because I want to get one of those cute brim hats. Hey, Coco Cuties. So I ain't had time to get y'all an outfit. Uh, old CT. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Coco Cuties. Happy Tuesday. So, I didn't have time to get y'all a full a OTD, but I basically got on a fashion of a two-piece set. And I am on my way to the dentist. Don't worry, baby, because I'm only getting an hour wear to the dentist in this because I ain't going shopping or nothing because it's going to rain. So, y'all will definitely see this again, okay? So, anyway, I'm on my way to my 430 dentist appointment, and I'm hoping to be done ASAP because they told me I come in 10 minutes early because I called them actually and was like, look, we supposed to get level three hell at six o'clock. Can I come in a little early? And they was like, oh no, we're not done yet with our last patient. But then they was like, oh, well, yeah, we finished with them. So you can come on. So that's why I'm headed to now, y'all. Thinking about getting a little pinch in the face before before my 36th birthday. I'm thinking about getting a little Botox and a little, a little lip injection in my lips, y'all. And maybe a little bit of Botox around my eyes. I don't know yet, but I definitely been thinking about getting a little bit of lip in my lips, okay? Because, like, I don't even know. This is chiropractor. Okay, here he is. I always, because it's a whole, y'all know those strip malls that's got all the different doctors in it. Um, but anyway, I've been thinking about it for a while. I think I mentioned it to y'all before about, because y'all, this is a filter. Like, I have beautiful lips, but they not this round. Like, this filter kind of, you know, I mean, y'all know, like, camera filters do they smoothed out everything or round out everything a little bit so my lips are a little rounder with this filter they're actually the round that i want them to be with this filter on and particularly my top lip i want my cupid's bow to protrude a little more and so i was talking to my co-worker because she was telling me her dentist appointment tomorrow and that her dentist is her sister-in-law and she get a little botox while she there because her sister is like a specialty cleaning and i was like oh you know how you like in botox like so i was talking to her about it she said she loved it and make her feel young again and beautiful and get some of her post her pre-baby youth back and i i want that girl i want a little bit of that so I don't know. I think about getting it for my birthday. I got to do a little research. But anyway, I got to go into the dentist. I don't want to be like, y'all, the dentist, the female dentist told me that my eyes were sparkling. She said, has anybody ever told you that? I said, no. She said, your eyes are beautiful and they are just sparkling. Like, there's this sparkle in your eyes. And 
I don't know how many times I tell y'all, that's what self-care do to you. Self-care how your eyes sparkling. Now, I've always been told I had beautiful eyes, but I've never been told that they were sparkling, okay? And that's self-care. That's self-care at its finest, baby. That is what happens to your eyes when you take care of yourself. You have a sparkle about yourself, honey, and your girl apparently is sparkling, okay? Good morning, Coco Cuties, and welcome to another day in the life of a boss. Um, so, right now, I am headed to the gym. Um, I got a little bit of a late start, it's still earlier than I have been, than I went in Monday, but still a little later than I wanted to because, y'all, I booked the consultation. Where I did some research last night, all night pretty much, because it was on my mind. And so I ended up going to sleep too early, so I was up at like 2 in the morning. So I folded laundry and all of that, and then I got to doing some research. So I found the clinic that had been sending stuff to my house already, and they got good reviews, uh, good Google reviews. So and they an A plus standard with the Better Business Bureau. So I said, okay, ain't not a scam. Ain't no back alley boo boo. So, which I didn't figure that they was, but still, you can't trust ads that pop up on Facebook. And it definitely got scammed by some viral shit. So, anyway, um, I scheduled an appointment for a consultation for noon today. Basically, I'm going in for a consultation. If I like what I hear, we may do a little something, something today. Y'all can't really tell because I told y'all yesterday I got a soft filter on my camera. And so, but I have a deep, y'all can kind of tell when I'm not using the filter because I do use the, not use the filter too. And so I have a frown line that's very deep down the middle of my forehead. Now I, because of my recent journey to do self care, I have been able to reduce a large amount of stress. And so that's what it comes from, stress. But I've had this frown line for years. Longer than, I've, I've had this frown line pretty much since college. It came in college and never went away because the stress never went away. Uh, it just honestly increased and so but this year you know on top of the fact that I have a concrete skin regimen I have been uh my bad I have been uh doing my due diligence to like reduce my stress and so that's been very helpful but it's still there and then I'm going to talk to him. I told y'all yesterday about my lips. Now, it's 50% off the services. Today, I'm honestly not trying to spend more than $300. So, I'm not really pressed on this. Like, it is what it is. I've had it for so long. The gift I want to give myself is a little poke poke in the lips. So when we go into the facility where they do the injections and stuff, I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can. At, mo at most, I'm going to try to get the lobby. And then if I can record the questions that I have, I'll probably just put like a picture of myself and then let the questions roll so that y'all can see. Because um, even if I can't record in the back area i'm still gonna put my voice recording on so that y'all can hear the questions that i ask like i did at the hospital when malia had her surgery um so y'all can see the questions hear the questions that i have in case you're interested in doing the same thing uh it's one question that i need to ask and it's related to this because i just thought about asking about this this morning when i was doing my skincare like huh oh, while i'm there you know um i can ask about it and um, I want to know if it, if 
any it'll affect my vision in any way so that's basically my question like temp whether it's a temporary thing where like for a couple of hours you might get some blurred vision but it'll go away or you know if the possibility of long-term effects on vision because if that's the case i'm not doing nothing right here because my eyes are all right. i'm already blind as a bag y'all know that so i'm not doing nothing to my eyes that could possibly affect them in a negative manner you know so that is the plan and so we pulling up to the gym now so i'm only gonna do an hour i'm stopping right at 11 because i need to be i need to clock i feel like the facility is right i know it's in town but i almost feel like it's like five minutes away five to seven minutes but i'm gonna clock it and make sure that i'm out of here with like 15 minutes before my appointment starts so that i can pull up on time in case you know whatever is any paperwork or anything that i need to get done so that's the plan y'all and so y'all finna come with me and we gonna do this together we gonna get some not y'all i'm about to be 36 years old honey i know the, i know to the older people who watch my channel and i did so look here's the thing mama i'm sorry that i did not tell you i was going to have this consultation before i had it but i almost feel like we talked about this but i didn't tell you because in case i haven't talked about this with you in a serious manner i don't want you to talk me out of it because i want to do it okay and so you know moms you're so beautiful and your skin is so and i know all those things but i still want to do it <laughs> but i'm i'm even nervous about doing that because typically i tell my i talk to my mama about everything i talk to my mom about everything so it's a little weird that i'm not telling her this but i don't want her to try talking me out of it so anyway let's go work out before we out of time oh not the black cakes i think i think my sister was talking about them. Thank you. If you just want to grab a seat and get comfortable, I'll grab you a water. Oh, okay. And then so you like you know who I am then? Yeah. Just call me Coco. Coco? Yeah, okay. call me Coco. I love it. Thank you. Okay. Here's your water. My weight. Is that a point of concern as far as causing any? Okay. Um, I think we kind of touched on this. Um, me having high blood pressure and acid mm -hmm. reflux. Those That's are okay. Thing. okay. That's okay. Uh, my medications, I put them in there. Mm -hmm. Those are all mm -hmm. okay too. And then the vitamins I'm on, mm -hmm. I can, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some vitamins can cause um, increased bleeding and bruising because we don't know what's all stuffed in with those vitamins. Right. But it's fine. Would I? Would you recommend that I come off of them for a couple of weeks? I mean, because they're they're everyday vitamins, so it's mm -hmm. not like they're like my medicines or yeah anything. yeah if you wanted to a week before you sure can okay yeah yeah um and then okay as far as i know you said my lips will be firm for mm -hmm. a little minute probably you said about four weeks or three weeks they'll start to soften yeah yeah okay. anywhere from two to four weeks they'll start to soften okay yeah. and they won't they won't look hard okay. if that makes sense okay um it's probably something that you're just gonna notice mm -hmm. and you know you you have nice full lips already mm -hmm. right so um they might not be as firm as somebody that has thin lips okay yeah so you might not even notice that at all i just kind of like to bring that up because that's some things right something to look out for say. yeah yeah and that's completely normal yeah will my husband notice that they're hard like i don't think so okay so they're not Honestly, hard I, to touch like mm -mm, kiss or no, anything no no okay no. they'll still be soft but okay they'll just they'll they'll just feel firmer okay yeah okay yeah and then how long should i wait to like because i have a husband mm -hmm. so you yeah. know yeah. how long should i wait as far as like 
like manipulation or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. like like um, oral yeah. or kissing or anything like that. Yeah, at, I would try your best to wait two to four weeks ish and like straws oh. too. Okay. Just because, oh, straws too. Yeah, okay. Yep. Just because we don't want you to like, you know, like manipulate. You know, oh, that, okay. That kind of causes okay. some manipulation and okay. then might shift the filler a little bit differently. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So if you can, yeah, at least two weeks. Okay. Ideally four. Okay. Yeah. To be safe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if your kissing isn't like super aggressive, it's if it's like a kiss here and there, like a right. bite, you know, okay. that's probably fine. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Um, normal post op uh, post procedure reactions. Um, you mentioned the firmness. Any anything else I should be? No, I mean you'll have some discomfort, right, for yeah. a few days. So you can ice. Okay. Um, you can take Tylenol. Okay. I would stay away from ibuprofen, Advil, or Aleve, just okay. because they might make bruising worse. Ah, okay. But yeah, Tylenol is okay. Though. Yep, Tylenol is okay. Um, I tell people too to help a little bit with the swelling for the few, first few days if you can sleep with your head a little bit elevated. Oh, okay. And then um, yeah, I sleep with a lot of pillows. Yeah, so yeah. Bit. And then maybe take a couple Benadryl before you go to bed. That generally will help with the swelling. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you say ice, would you recommend like one of those ice rollers or stay away mm -hmm. from those? Nope, stay away from those. Okay. Just like an ice pack. Yep. We oh, usually like give an ice pack. You, okay. Yep, we usually give you an ice pack before oh, you leave. Okay. Yeah. Um abnormal reactions and what do I do mm -hmm. for abnormal reactions? Yeah, yeah, so there's two complications that can happen. Mm -hmm. One is called a vascular occlusion and that's that would happen when you're here with us. Mm -hmm. What that looks like, what, what that is is I would get filler in a vessel, okay? And I watch your tissue really closely to make sure that nothing's concerning to me. Mm -hmm. um, I do have some emergency medication in my fridge to use to dissolve the filler if I need to. Okay. Okay. Um, cause you know, you can imagine if I get filler in a vessel, it stops the blood flow right. and then the tissue starts to kind of die. Right. 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 Um, I haven't had that happen. Okay. okay. A vascular compression can happen at home and that's because of swelling and because of filler. So it just push, puts pressure on a vessel, okay. stopping that blood flow. Usually what that looks like, it looks like a bruise. It's getting bigger, probably quicker than we think it should. Okay. Um, it looks white around, grayish around. Mm, okay. um, in that situation, if you use heat and massage the area, usually, usually it I can resolves. take care of it. Yeah, okay. yeah. I haven't had that happen as far as I know either. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And we typically will send you a text message the next day. Just make sure Check you don't have any me. questions or concerns. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I wear glosses and things. Mm -hmm. How long should I stay away from those? I prefer that people just use antibiotic ointment for a couple days. Okay. 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 And then you can switch over. Like a triple over. action. Yep. So, okay. Absolutely. Yep. And then after that, you can start wearing your stuff. As long as it's clean, just make sure the applicators are clean. And, right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. People that I've spoken to, I've noticed a bit of scarring that can occur, like in the areas that they're, they're being um, poked. Okay. What should I do? What would you recommend to avoid... Um, not, I guess scarring is the wrong word, but yeah, um, a little bit of scarring on their lips, like maybe in the incision points. What would you recommend to keep me from having Honestly, to experience I, I haven't, that? I haven't seen that at all. Oh, okay. So, um, I mean, you're going to see pokeholes for a few days okay. just until like they seal but up they on will, their own. Oh, they'll seal up they'll, on their own. Okay. Yeah, they'll seal up on their own and they'll go, they'll go away. Yeah. Yeah. If, I haven't seen any scarring, honestly, for, um... Yeah, so Okay. Yeah. Well that's good. Time frame. You said that if I liked them when they were swollen versus when they then you mm -hmm. would recommend coming back in three months. Three to six months, yeah. Right. And mm -hmm. then do that every three to six months, just make that the Just kinda depending on what you what, what I you're like. Seeing, what yeah. you're liking. Yep. Okay. Yep. When you when you start seeing them go down and you wanna add more, then definitely come back in. But okay. yeah. We have um and I'll give you the sheet here too. Is that K O K O? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um we have a membership, it's eighty nine dollars a month. It's all your money to spend. Oh. With that membership you get fifteen percent off of products and services. Okay. So everything up front, all the services you do, you get fifteen percent off. Okay. Um like I said, it's all your money to spend. It just goes into a savings account. So let's say, um, let's say you decide to get your lips refilled in five months. Mm -hmm. Okay. So five times eighty nine, you'll have four hundred and forty five dollars saved up in that account. Right. 
and the membership price for one syringe is 600. Okay. So you'd almost have it paid for. Oh, so yeah. you would use this money and then you would just pay the difference when you come in. Right. Okay. okay. Um, if you didn't do the membership in, you know, in three to six months when you come in to get it refilled again, it would be 706 a syringe. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it drops it down by a hundred bucks a unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's like I said, it's a, it's like just, just a little savings account for you here. Right. A way of spreading out those payments so it's not such a sticker shock when you do it. When you do it, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, absolutely. How would you know how much to use? Would I show you an image of what I'm looking for or something? So so we can't change the shape of your lip, right? Okay. We can just pump up what you have, enhance what you have, basically. Okay. So, you know, I don't, I honestly don't know how people are doing those butterfly and Russian lips that you see all over social media. I don't know how, okay. how that happens. Um, but you know, we can, we can kind of concentrate in areas where you feel that there's more deficit, definitely. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, but yeah, I can't change your lip shape. You know, we're born with what lip shape we have. We can just kind of enhance it and pump it up a little bit. Okay. Um, I don't use more than one syringe in a city. Oh, okay. 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 Just because okay. usually at that point, most people's lips are like, Hey, I've had enough. Right. Sometimes I have to use less than that. I don't know until I get started. Right. With your lips, I'll probably easily be able to do one syringe. Okay. Is my guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just because, like I said, you already have the nice full lips. Mm -hmm. So usually, um, yeah, usually your lips, it, it's those super thin lips that yeah. maybe can't take a full syringe because they just get too full too fast. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. She'll be back in 15 minutes though. my mama bestie when she get home because i just i'm nervous to show her but i like um she said that when the swelling go down i can determine how often i want to get them done but she don't feel comfortable putting more than one uh syringe in somebody's lips at a time so she said more than anything if I feel like I want them pumped back up to where they were when they were swollen, that she would just, uh, you know, see me sooner versus trying to fill me up completely, which I agree. I agree. Um, cause honestly, I feel like once they come down a little, this top one is going to be exactly what I want. She only put a little bit in the bottom because my bottom lip is full. My top lip is and so she gave me a little information you know she was like you know race wise african american lips should be one to one so your top lip and your bottom lip should be the same size uh caucasian lips are one and two so your bottom lip is your top lip is technically no is it bottom i think she said your bottom lip should be 50 percent of what your top lip is and so uh, she was like, and now you're going to start paying attention to that when you see different people. And I was like, you know what? I never noticed. Lying my ass off. Knowing that I be noticing. Sorry, white people, but y'all don't really got no lips. Uh, knowing I be noticing that shit. I'm just logging back into my computer because y'all know I am a traveling employee. So right now, uh, I need to go and... Um, I gotta go to Walmart and I gotta go to Kohl's 
uh, at Sephora. So, cause I got a cold an Amazon return and I'm just gonna go on Sephora. Yeah, Lily was talking about this concealer that's supposed to be a good dupe for uh, by Sephora that's supposed to be equally as good as the Born This Way concealer. I love the Born This Way concealer. I just spend the money on it. Sometimes I even buy the little ones to travel with, so. But I want to see what the Sephora hitting on, because if it's hitting where it's hitting, then it's hitting. And it'll be my at-home concealer. So I'm about to call Bestie back so she can see him, because she waiting on me. And so, um, and it wasn't bad. All in all, Oh, okay, my custom uh, beach blankets on the way. It was not bad, y'all. The first couple of pinches pinched. And then after that, honestly, I stopped feeling it. I didn't at the top. Like, honestly, I only felt the corners. And she pinched quite a bit at the top because that was our primary focus. When she got to the bottom, I felt it a little bit because she hadn't put anything there yet. So I felt it a little bit. But honestly, I got 13 tattoos. So my tolerance for pain is pretty high and you know even though some of my tattoos i got under the influence some of them i didn't and so my tolerance for pain is pretty high so i figured i would be okay you know so i just zone six and listen to my um uh, beyonce and that was that by the time i looked up she was done and she was looking to see if she wanted to even use the full syringe and i was like well put a little bit at the bottom then i want my full syringe so the cost was 358 um if i join the membership it's 89 dollars a month i'm gonna see they gonna call me in four weeks to see you know how i'm liking them because in four weeks they should be fully where they gonna be um if i like them a lot i'm gonna go ahead and pay the 89 dollars a month for the membership i guess that's what my mom mean when she said i got too much money on my hands but pay the 89 dollars for mom and it makes me happy so why not pay the 89 dollars for the membership and that way moving forward the 89 dollars bills so it add it's it's just a pot of money that you hold and it gets you like 15 percent off the so by the time i come back in six months i would have been in pretty much paid for my next syringe because they 706 dollars with the she gave me a whole thing so i'm gonna show it to y'all when we get home but for now let me go try to take care of this because i would like to go pick my baby up from school uh if i can get back in time if not i'm gonna leave it to her daddy but um the hardest thing gonna be i can't drink out of straws for like a month so that's gonna be weird drinking out of cups again or taking the straw out of my cups i don't know i gotta i gotta figure that out but anyway let me go i'll call you back i mean i'll get back on here in a minute Good morning, cuties. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I should say good afternoon because it's 11.53. I'm getting a very late start. Um, but if you live anywhere in Tornado Alley, then you know that we got two tornadoes back to back yesterday and today. So luckily, I live on the outer skirts of Tornado Alley as far as I was concerned. So we usually don't get the actual tornado. Now, last year we did get one that got really close to us that probably got within like a seven mile radius of us. But, and it messed up the, the area I go shopping in. It messed it up a lot of like, um, mom and pop stores were affected um a couple of windows got blown out like verizon and a couple of others but they was able to recoup pretty quickly um but y'all i'm gonna try to find some images but it's whole small towns that's been completely annihilated by this tornado these tornadoes okay so I got a late start because I wasn't even sure. I knew I was gonna go out, but I didn't know what time. So I was like, okay, I just work and stuff. And then um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna send my baby to school because the tornadoes happened between like six and eight. 
and I had arranged for her to go to school at 8 because she didn't go to school one day this week. And so I had arranged, arranged for her to go in early, but I wasn't going to send her early. I wasn't even sure if I was going to send her at but all. We're going to start off at the gym. We're going to get our hour of power, our hour power in. We're going to start the, the Friday off right. Happy Friday. Let's get in the gym so we can get in and get out. And get the fun started okay and of course i'm gonna go check marshall hey coco cuties hey hey everybody for so watching we see now the aquarium have you seen mouse aquarium so right now we are on our way to route 21 i told y'all this was where i was gonna be going a little later in the day <clears throat> so that's where we're headed I got the clearance to put some lips on, so we about to get a first glance at these lips when they glossed up. So, I didn't record it, but I stopped at Starbucks because it was 50% off drinks. And, uh, so I got me a pink drink. But, I got a pink drink with boba in it and can't drink out the damn straw. So... It's still sitting at the house. So I don't know how I'm going to drink that. Because I ain't trying to do nothing that they told me not to do. And that's these $700 lips up, okay? So anyway, that's what we're doing. Route 21 is going out of business. So we're about to go up there and see what it's giving. I really just want a plus size mannequin, but... If they had like some fragrances and stuff that I like, I'll probably grab a couple of things just because they're going out of business. Maybe they'll have some accessories. Because I always like the accessories. So we are home. So I'm about to cut the roses. Um, I'm going to show y'all. Y'all, the roses wasn't really given. They very pretty, but they have a little wilter around the corners. They wasn't really given like they normally are. So y'all know that we took that 30 minute drive because I thought Route 21 was still open and I should have followed my first mind. I should have followed my first mind because when they ain't answer the phone, I just shouldn't have went. But I still went my butt out there, and sure enough, they was closed already. And I was sorry, because I just knew I was going to leave with me a $25 mannequin. But the Express is closing down, too, but they want, like, $225 for their mannequin. Okay, babe. They want, like, $225 for their mannequins because, ooh, come on, bro. Because, um, because they on metal stands. And I'm just like, y'all doing the most. Now, nah. dang, this one's bent. My daughter got to play for an hour in the little play zone area, so. Yeah, she telling y'all we went to the mall. And that was really it. Um, I didn't see nothing worth buying. Uh, Bath and Body Works had a sale going on. See, like these. I definitely got the bottom of the barrel of what was left. So, um, these are the first ones. Very pretty. Yeah, I got red roses. These are going to go in the living room. And I already put my ice in my, uh, in my, uh, Food that come with it. I already put that stuff in there. Um, I got a couple of things I wanted to show y'all because y'all know I went to Sephora earlier and I picked up a miniature bum bum cream and I also picked up my uh, birthday gift from Sephora. I gotta go pick up my birthday gift from Ulta and I need to see where in Chicago while I'm there I can get birthday pick up birthday gifts and I wonder if it's on my birthday or if it's got or if it's long as it's within the week. Actually, I need to check in California. That's what I need to do. But I ain't gonna be driving, so I ain't gonna wanna just be lifting everywhere to get a free gift. So I don't know. 
I'll figure it out. But anyway, I know I got to go to Ulta and see what my free gift is. It's never good, though. Usually Sephora is not, but this one is pretty decent. And it's a hefty amount in there. Like, it's a nice size amount in there. These are some thick stems. Is it just my Walmart or are all the Walmarts turning, trying to turn into Target? Baby, because Walmart got a whole 135 section. So do Kohl's. Kohl's is picking up on the trend too. They got a 135 section. I said, everybody want to be Target. Because everybody, and my thing is, it ain't the stuff in the store. It's the customer service that's got everybody wanting to go to Target. And the stuff in the store. But more so the customer service, the lighting. It's just welcoming. Everybody knows where everything is. Like when you go in Walmart, don't nobody ever know where she is. So these are the red ones. Very pretty. Oh, my baby's gonna be happy to see those. And then I got one more set. Now these are roses. I told y'all, come in and let me know what these are because I really don't know, but they so pretty. And I think I'm gonna leave them band together like this and just snip the bottoms real quick very pretty and so then this is my bed these go in my baby room and i see her little ballet slipper so let me show y'all the rest of the stuff i got real quick so i got the bum dia bright and a travel size so all of these are three ounces so i can take all of them on the flight and this is you for the people you to the people and it's a nice size so it comes with kale plus green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser it comes with a, a superfood air whip moisturizer and a super berry hydrate glow dream mask so we like that. Uh, I've been wanting to try use for the people anyway. I've been wanting to try they they cream, but I mean I try these products too. So this is the whipped cream moisturizer. This is the oh they give you a big one. This is one fluid ounce of the face soap, and then this is one mask, a hydrating mask. So. That's cool. I'll probably take another mask and an eye mask with me anyway. But other than that, I got, they gave me this for free. Overnight hydrating treatment by Amika. Yeah, Amika, I think that's how you said. They put one of these in every time, everything I pick up, cause when I do a pickup. And then, the last time I was there, when I went to Sephora and Kohl's, I got the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full, co full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer in the shade 44Y, Y meaning yellow. Um, N was neutral. They didn't have a golden, so I'm assuming yellow. This was, when I swatched them, this, I love a big doe foot applicator. Love that. And then this is the last thing I got. How cute are these? So I have this giant bowl um, y'all know these are my house colors. All of these colors, actually. These are the shades of blue and then the beige. Only thing missing is like a dark brown. But, and then white. These are the colors that are in my house, that are in my kitchen. Um, just everywhere. This is my color scheme. And so when I saw these, I was like, oh, I can finally fill that bowl with something besides toys. So... I end up, these was $3 a piece in the Walmart 135 section. So I end up buying like eight of them. So, because I bought four and it didn't fill it up. So I went back and bought four more. But I want to show y'all these because how cute are these? Let's open our package. So I got these, I think I told y'all from personalizationmail.com. I used them for my wedding for custom slippers. For my bridal party so i'm familiar with their work and they ship really fast so i got two and this oh that's cute
are taking a walk to the playground because my love wants to get outside and play in the playground so and I needed to do my my exercise for today so we outside Fun. Yeah, we're gonna have some playground fun. Yeah, and we're gonna hang out for a little while. We're gonna hang out for a little while. Y'all see, it's beautiful out here. God is just another example of the amazingness of God, and I get to enjoy this anytime I want to. Mm -hmm. You're the best runner. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I sure am. Mm hmm I sure am. Is that a river? Is that a big river? That... It's called a pond. It kind of look like a river. It does kind of look like a river. Yes, it's but rivers rivers runoff turns into ponds. Yeah. So I'm so super duper smart. Yes, you are super duper smart. Yes, you are. Hey vlog, so somebody got a package. It's me. And she wants to show it to you guys. So the first thing we gotta do back is we gotta take the label off because we don't want the vlog to see our address, right? Yeah. It's it's what's the We don't want the vlog to see our address. And you, ma'am, are going to need this money for what's inside your box, okay? <laughs> what do you think it is? Um, I think it is. I think it is a doll. Think it's a doll? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Girl, you got a hundred dolls in there. You think it's a doll? I don't think it's a doll. You want to take another guess? Yeah. What? Um, I think it is. Okay. Pull the fluff out. Oh, this is not it. This is not yours. Oh, sorry, boo. That's not yours. Okay, yours is in the big box. <laughs> oh. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> no, that's a gigantic box. Oh, no. So, oh. ouch. Stop. Ooh, so we got another box. It says, oops, I delivered again. <laughs> so. It says, oops, I delivered it again. You delivered it again. 
That, I'll show y'all what that was in a second. But um, that basically was my this food my scale. Because I ordered a food scale because I want to start wearing my portions. Because I kind of have to plateau in my weight loss. And I think it's because my... I keep it look low. When I count to three, you can open them, okay? Okay. One, two, three. Cute! Wow. Do you know what that is? It's a mummy. Yes. It's called a multifunctional box. And so basically, you put your money in here. You save money. Like, mommy uses this to save money. So now you can save your own money. And you can put the money right in there. And it makes a sound when you put the money in there. So we're gonna set it up because it'll only open for your face and your code, okay? okay. And your fingerprint, see? You, the money goes in here, the coins go on top, and then you your password, you can make up a password. It can be the same password as your tablet if you want. And then this is the face recognition, the fingerprint, and the speaker. So we're gonna set it up, okay? okay. Let's open it. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> I think myself because I'm excited. Yeah. I'm glad you're excited about saving money. Because it's good to save money. You don't have to spend it all. You can save some money. Oh, no. <laughs> it's awesome, right? So this is what it looks like, guys. You want to show them? Here, you show them. It's yours. <laughs> it's cute. It is cute. And yeah, we're going to try to figure this out off camera. Okay, then we come back. Zero. Smile. There you go. Now, we ready to put the money in. Okay, get one of your dollars. Mama going to show you how to do the first one, okay? And you just... Okay, take another dollar. Your turn. Okay. Now make sure you put it right in the middle. <laughs> Get another one. How much I do spending you the day that I want, the day that I want, another day that maybe Tuesday. Can I spend a fortune? Cause I want to. I know it's a pulling. How about this? You spending every day that I want, the day that I want. What happened to me? Cause I just had a dream I was dead. I only cared cause I was taken from you You're the only thing that I own I hear my bell ring, I don't need answer for you so, It's also envelope stuffing day So Mama gotta do her savings too So for now every time I, I know So for now once a week I'ma get her 20 singles And let her do her thing and then all the other money she gets, like for her birthday and stuff like that, it'll, it'll go in there. The cash, the change will still go in her piggy. I don't need answer for you. I had prayed out loud and Lord, you answered me too early. I was too young, starting out, no I'm too scared. From you. You're the only thing that I own I hear my bell ring, I don't need answer for you
Okay, so I'm back on camera. The envelopes are stuffed. We are up to day 28. Here comes me. So. Here comes my daughter. Here comes the daughter. Here comes the daughter. Come on. Hey. Hey. Here goes the daughter. What you got to say, daughter? Hey, hey, everybody. What else? That's it. Hey, Coco Cuties. <laughs> hey, Coco Cuties, and hey, everybody. Good job. So, anyway, I'm going to show y'all the rest of the stuff I got from Amazon real quick because we got a few new things. So, I know y'all been seeing the bow trend. So, your girl done hopped on the bow trend, and I bought me a few bows. So, I got a white one. And these are the same bowls, y'all, that I used in my bathroom. Listen. So, I got all the essential colors. I got red. I got black. I got white. And I got pink. Yes, honey. So, I got a wrap. Basically, a towel wrap. And you put it on like a... Not like a jacket, but you put it on like a... Uh, what am I trying to say? Like a robe. And then. So. You basically put it on like that. Like this. Like this or something. But anyway, basically it's a towel. So that when I'm coming out the shower and stuff, if I'm vlogging or whatever. I don't have to hurry up and jump into clothes like if I want to show y'all new bath products and stuff. And plus, it's big. And I've been wanting one of those too because even when I'm not vlogging, it's mainly because I don't be in a hurry to put on pajamas until I got to get on camera. So that gives me a little something to walk around with because our curtain right here, it hasn't been acting right. It keeps falling. And so I'm going to have to get a new rod. So you could see, you can't see directly in here, but if like the mailman or something come, you know, I can't just run to the door butt naked. Like I have to have something on. So now that the mailman can see into my house if he get close enough. So I'm real excited about this. I got me a pink cowgirl hat. Now this hat hole looks little. Now I will take this thing back with the quickness because it's a nice hat though. But it was like 20 some dollars and I saw some at TJ Maxx for $15.99, but they ain't had a shade, of course. So, how open this down here? But this is, I want to wear a couple of hats while I'm out there. Just like when I'm on the beach and stuff for aesthetic purposes and because I don't want a real bad tan while I'm in California. So... I got this hat. It's a straw cowboy hat. Ooh, okay. All right, rhinestone cowgirl. Now, my concern is if it's going to fit over my braids because it's already a little snug. So, I'm a little worried it may not fit over my braids. But please know if it don't, I will send this thing back the moment I get home. So, I got a full scale. So we're going to start doing this immediately. As soon as I finish my food that I got back from Chicago, my Chicago charcuterie board, okay? Then we're going to go back to where we started, y'all. I'm almost embarrassed to tell y'all. But I had to order thigh slimmers for my arms because my arms are too big for all of the arm slimmers. And the ones I used to wear when I was working out, they don't make them no more. Like, they wasn't in TJ Maxx. They wasn't in Marshalls. They wasn't in... Uh, Burlington's, they wasn't at none of the places where they would normally be at. So, this is the arm and thigh. See how small these damn things are? These arm ones, like, girl, who? Who sway? Who arm? Who arm? Baby, this is, this is wrist at best. So, I got some, the arm and thigh set. So, because I'm going to use these thousands for my arm. Since that's the type of message they basically send me. So, I met a friend today at the gym. Her name is Kelsey. And we have way too much in common. It was actually a little creepy. But, no, nah, it was fun. Um, 
So, hey, Kelsey, if you watch, hey, girl, hey, I hope the baby is feeling better. So, basically, she had came and worked out on the opposite side of where I was working out. And I was looking at her, but I wasn't looking at her. I was looking at her her yoga mat because I needed to get one for California. And I liked hers. I was going to ask where she got it from. So, she was like, is it okay if I work out? I was like, yeah, of course, you know, free space, free gym. This is where the Gemini energy kicked in because she was like, um, are you doing a guided uh, workout? I said, yeah, I'm doing a guided stretch to prep for my workout. She was like, oh, okay. She was like, well, if you're done with your stretch, I'm about to work abs and glutes if you want to join me. Yes, I want to join you because I don't have no fucking friends here anyway. Except for uh, Mrs. Bell. So, yes, and Mrs. Bell lives like 30 minutes away. So, yes, I would love a workout, buddy. And so... Um, I, so we worked out together for at least a good 30 to 40 minutes. And then she got a call that her daughter uh, had gotten sick at school. So she had to go to school. Y'all it's so crazy. Like, so right now she's in school to get her bachelor's and they've been living here for about three years. Y'all she from the suburbs of Chicago. So she's from, um, Wellington. I think she said, or Wheeling. I think she said Wheeling basically about 40 minutes outside of Chicago. So when I told her I was from Chicago, she was like, oh, I'm from the suburbs. And so she was, uh, then we was, I was like, uh, I was, she was asking me if I had any trips planned for the summer. I was telling her about California. And she was like, I was like, yeah, my birthday is in June. And she was like, my birthday is in May. And then I was like, May what? And so I was like, do you pay attention to astrology? And she was like, a little bit, pretty much as much as I do. And she was like, um, so I was like, so you're, uh, she was like, Gemini. And I was like, so am I. So then I was like, I'm almost afraid to ask you how long you and your husband been married. Because if you say, uh, if you say seven years, I'm going to pass out. And she was like, okay, well, then I'm going to just say six. Like, we just had a, and then her husband's birthday is in March. My husband's birthday in April. Like, it was just so much. Um, we did the Stairmaster. We did some glute work, and we did some core work. And so, uh, it was nice. It was nice to have a workout, buddy, yes. y'all. So, look, y'all know I'm doing a 30 for 30 gift giving to myself, right? One of my gifts was a custom chain, y'all. I got this chain way too big. It's so ghetto fabulous like so i ordered this the reason i'm telling y'all because i ordered this chain box as you know it's pink it's cute and you know i was gonna give it to myself in this but y'all this the chain this the box baby it ain't it ain't giving what you think it's gonna give so i gotta send that back but y'all oh wait till y'all see this chain y'all it is so big and ghetto baby Look at this, y'all. Ooh. This remind me of when I was in college, my sorority sister, my love, hey, Virgie. She had a giant Virgie chain. And I think she still got it to this day. I know she got a giant V. But I feel like she had one with her whole name on it. And so this is the chain. So we gonna try this on together, y'all, just to see. First of all, this... This ain't, mm -mm, no ma'am, it ain't happening. Nope, it ain't doing what you think it's gonna do. So I'm gonna have to send it back. Now this is very pretty. I will have, I have to say that it's very pretty, but it's also very big. I did not know that it was gonna be this big. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, almost make me wish I would have just got Coco on here instead of Dr. Coco, cause shit. Y'all, I feel like I'm in a rap video about to turn up next to Sexy Red or, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, Sukiyana. Like, it is so big. So, I definitely, I don't know when I'm going to wear this giant chain. Um, I definitely know I want to wear it on my trip, but I, with what? Like, Girl, I don't know. If you see me and you trying to see what's up. <laughs> That's what it's giving, okay? Our homegirl is back. She got something she want to show y'all. Go ahead. Hi, Mel. <laughs> Do you like them? They say yes. They say yes. I think they like them. Oh, we in the room. I got a new light. 
So let's see how y'all like it. Let me know if y'all like it or y'all feel like I should go back and get the other light again. Basically, it's the same light. So we got a bag of stuff from Clark Street, y'all. This is what I was able to grab within 45 minutes because that's literally all I had before I had to go south for the uh, prom send-off. So I got two hats because I was going to wear this hat with my outfit to the send off and get rich auntie energy, but baby, it was hot as hell in Chicago. I wasn't trying to get hot auntie, so I ended up going, getting a scarf. Um, and it's a cute scarf. Um, if I have an outfit to match it, I might take the scarf with me to California because it's definitely giving beach vibes, sundress vibes. So. But I love a good fedora. And these was $11.99. You cannot beat that with a stick. Uh-oh, I smushed it a little bit. Okay. So this is the mustard yellow one. And then they got the little Gucci B on the side. Hold on, I didn't show y'all that. Got the little Gucci B right there. So clearly it's an inspo. So. That's that. Very cute. I love a wide brim. Now, y'all know I wear it like this or wear it like that so you can see the red. But either way, I like it. It's cute. Ooh, so cute. Especially with the bob. If I wear it like this, I'm giving Cam Newton. Baby Cam Newton's fedora never comes off. That man be playing whole scrimmage football games and be catching the ball. Never, ever loses his hat, okay? So, I also got... Oh, I can show y'all this. So, this is from my sister's brand, um, Style Lounge Couture. And so, I ordered a headband from her because... It matches my denim, uh, well, first of all, to support, but let me get my scissors. Get into the packaging. Ooh. Ooh, this is pretty. And it looks big head friendly. Nice packaging. So make sure y'all shop. As always, I will leave the link in the bio. Ooh, so cute. Very cute. We're going to leave this on for a minute so y'all get into it. So I got two pair of sunglasses. They both are out because I've worn both of them over the last two days. Oh, this is the scarf that I wore with the outfit. Y'all will see the pictures uh, in the vlog. This nail coming off? It just come on off. It's stressing me. But I wore this scarf around my bob and it was giving, it was still giving rich auntie. So... Very cute. Congratulations to my baby, Jari. Ooh, baby. I'm, I've been knowing you, child, since your mama was eating up my strawberries and eating up my lunch when she was pregnant with you. <laughs> you are our first baby. Okay. So, take those off. I got these green glasses. For some reason, I feel like I don't have enough green and orange accessories. So, I got these green glasses. I Let me know what y'all think. I don't care for them with the bob. I feel like the frame is too big for the bob. But, I do like them uh, in general. So, I'm definitely going to wear them. And they might come with me on the trip since I'm high braids anyway. Um, but, yeah. Because my goal is not to buy any outfits for the trip because I have enough clothes. So, my goal is not to buy any outfits for the trip and only buy, um, like, things that I need. So, like, travel size items, and that's really it. So, make sure you book me for your next event. Okay, now these, I love, oh, mind you, the glasses was $3. Three dollars. All of them. All of them in the store was $3, except they had these bedazzled like frames that have like hard uh floral on the on the ear those are like i think five or seven dollars but look at these three dollars y'all i love these okay and i actually bought some uh, ooh, 
ouch. <laughs> I actually bought some earrings to match them. That's how much I love them. Get into them, okay? And I wore these to the recital the other day. Okay. Not really sure what made me get these, but I love the color in the frame. And I have these in orange already. I think I got them from T Shein, and I think they was $3 too. But going on Clark Street, you can walk out with them. So, very much given Sexy Cat Woman, okay? And I got a pair of brown shades. Because, and a brown, brown, pretty brown rounds. Because you can't go wrong with an oversized brown. Period. These remind, these remind me of the ones that I wanted from uh, Diera XJT collab. I did buy me a pair though. And they should be here tomorrow. If I'm not mistaken. I was telling y'all that I was looking for some huge, gaudy, just over embellished studs. I found them, y'all. These are the earrings that I got to go with these glasses. Very cute. And then these are my big gaudy earrings. Like, this how big, look how big they are. Look how big they are. Let me get the silver ones. Huge. This is how big I be wanting. And these was $4. I be wanting my earrings to be. And then I got the medium size ones too. Um, I think I got like three pair of the big ones, if I'm not, yeah. One, two of the big gold ones. They didn't have the big gold ones like these in silver. So I got a couple of variety of gold ones. I also got, I mean, I got a couple of variety of silver. I got these round ones, but they big too. And then, oh no, I am mistaken, baby. Those are the medium ones, baby. They get bigger, okay? Baby, these gonna go perfect with my sexy red chain. Now I got sexy red. Look how big those are. Ooh. That's how big I like my studs, especially with my hair like this. And then I got two pair of the square big ones. Um, these are the medium round and gold. I got several pairs. So I got multiple pair of studs because I lose them quickly and I love them. Oh, and I got another pair of sunglasses. So I got these round brown ones. I should have got these in black though because these, looking at them, look very much like my glasses that I ordered from Diera and JT collection. But these is everything, okay? And then I got a couple of pieces of jewelry. I got some big bamboo earrings. Some big hoops, just because you can never walk out of a jewelry store and not get yourself some of these. So I got these, and then I got a couple of necklaces. I got this necklace with the infinity on it, very cute. And then I got this bracelet, it's just a you know, a link bracelet. Because I got a link chain. So I got the bracelet to match now. Then I got this charm necklace. Um, I think the rose quartz on here. And the lucky horseshoe is what made me get it. But now looking at it. Okay. There's a. I think this is a topaz. There's a couple of different symbols for good luck on here. So that's this. I'm not going to wear those earrings. But. The necklace is still really pretty. Let's move into Burlington and TJ Maxx. So I told y'all I went in for a yoga mat. And I found a Barbie yoga mat. A pink Barbie yoga mat. And it was on sale for like $13. Yeah, $13. Regular price, $17. So I love that. And honestly, this will probably be what I wrap my alcohol in. I probably put my alcohol in bags, in Ziploc bags, and then unroll this and roll my alcohol back. Because I'm a good roller when it comes to... And this comes with bands. So, it'll stay rolled once I roll it. And then also from Marshall, I got a bamboo bag. Because you can't be a beach girl without a bamboo bag, okay? And then I got another bow. So, I actually have 
some slides from rainbow shops that have pearls all over them just like this and so that's going to be a look that i wear together i might take that those pearl slides and that'll be my backup in case my shoes get a little wobbly because i'm taking myself on a uh boat to have dinner on my birthday and so maybe i'll wear this bow and wear those slides as a backup then i also got a little barbie you know uh traveler so i got one of these so cute i actually seen miss jamima with this on and i was like oh i need to get one for my trip oh it is cute and it's big hair friendly and it's gonna fit perfect over my braids too i love this now walmart had one too but it was kind of flimsy i'd rather go ahead and pay the 15 15 15 for it and get the one that i like i got a big thing of bug spray and so i just bought one of these for 97 cent and put bug spray in it now the funny thing is is that if i was trying to sneak alcohol a lot of it i could have did it that way too but i already got a plan for getting my alcohol across so then i got some contact solution one for traveling by plane and then one for when i go to chicago and then these are two fluid ounces so you can bring them on and normally i would just carry my big stuff whatever you know body stuff i need and i do have a couple of big things that i'm gonna carry like my fenty um butter drop but because i'm carrying stuff like alcohol and a, a yoga mat if i run out of weight i still have two bags that go under and two that go on so if i need to put anything on it'll be my toiletry bag because it'll have be full of stuff that is small if y'all don't get y'all some of these these tie uh these tie to go baby when I tell you these things saved my life so many times, I got one for when I'm here, one for when I travel to Chicago, and one for when I fly. I got some sunscreen, banana boat sunscreen, and all of these little things are $3. Then I got the native deodorant in coconut and vanilla, and then I got the native uh, body wash in coconut and vanilla too. Yeah, I already use native deodorant, so I know how native products work. I mean, you know, and I like them, um, even from a natural standpoint. It took me a minute to adjust my body to going natural with my deodorant. Probably about two weeks, I was kind of smelling like corn chips. But after I got past that, um, put my permanent jewelry back on for my baby come clock me. Uh, after I got past that, it wasn't too bad. So they had a vendors event um, in my neighborhood and small businesses came out and, you know, did their setup. And so there was a black owned candle making company that I supported and she's a author too. So all of her candles um, are named after Ooh, excuse me all of her candles are named after books so this one is called book boyfriend and it has bergamot and jasmine and cedar in it handmade in iowa um her name is marianne Sense on facebook oh that smells so good look at that so good so this will definitely be coming with me um I'm trying to decide if I'm going to place an order with Spiritual and Paid or not. Um, I'm trying to see if they're going to have a coupon because Spiritual and Paid candles are not cheap. So, And they were two for 25 so I also got Reading About Love. It smells like rose petals. So that's that. These are pretty too. Mm, they smell so good. So good. Later. I felt like I had a baby, you know. I did the mother thing, I did the white thing, you know that. But I think it's quite clear now. You need the fat guy.